Fellow film fans and fellow football fans, what up? It's your boy Tay, and this is Tay Talks Talkies. The GOAT, Leo Messi, finally did it. He finally won the most coveted, the most difficult trophy of all, the World Cup. On the biggest stage, my man performed like a true GOAT does, and he brought home the glory. Rest in peace, Diego Maradona. In honor of his legendary performance in Argentina bringing it all home, gotta rank the top five greatest soccer films of all time. Unfortunately, even though it's the greatest sport on planet Earth, it's the most practiced sport on planet Earth, there's not that many great films, but I went through them and I ranked the top five best ones of all. Let's go. Well, I'm in the day. At number five, we have 2005's Kicking and Screaming, starring Will Ferrell, Mike Dicka. A bit of an unusual pairing, but it works really well. It's a silly film, but it's hilarious. I love Kicking and Screaming. The scene with the Italians, playing soccer with them for the first time is pure joy, Mwah. And of course, the Pele ball, and of course, the legend himself, the young son. Next, at number four, we have 2001's Shaolin Soccer. A film about kung fu soccer, it's a bit of an unusual flick, but it has some insane scenes, some really hilarious scenes, and the very unique style that this film does works so well for it, and it's pretty critically acclaimed. It's a film that is pretty positively viewed even by critics, so it's hard to deny Shaolin Soccer. At number three, we have a film that is very different tone-wise than the last two films I mentioned. We have 1981's Victory, starring Sylvester Stallone, directed by John Huston. Michael Caine's in it, and there's a guy, uh, maybe you've heard of him, Pele. Pele is in this film as well. And of course, that brings a high level of authenticity to this film. And it's a film that has a lot of heart, uh, a lot of drama. They're playing soccer against Nazis, and they kick some Nazi tail with the power of soccer. Next at number two, we have another serious film, a drama, 2005's Green Street, or as many people refer to it as, The Green Street Hooligans. This film is Elijah Wood's greatest performance outside of, of course, the ring bearer himself, Frodo Baggins. This film is amazing, and Charlie Hunnam, prior to his Sons of Anarchy days, stars in this film as well, and it is fantastic. Now, in honor of the GOAT, Messi, the number one greatest soccer film of all time is 2005's Goal, The Dream Begins, the film about Santiago Munez, a guy from America who makes it all the way to Europe and becomes professional, achieves his dreams. This film is amazing. As a young lad myself, I love this film. I fell in love with the story. It felt so real. It felt so authentic and it felt like you were really with a guy on his ascent upwards and it was great story. We have Zinedine Zidane, David Beckham, some real legends making cameos in this film. Just adds to the authenticity and I love Santiago Munoz. That guy will forever be a real footballer to me. And that's it. That's my top five. Unfortunately, like I said, not that many great soccer films. Uh, Bend it like Beckham. That's the type of films that I had to really decide between and gave you the top five. Fever Pitch is a great one that I didn't mention in the top five, but Definitely a classic. But that's all I got for you guys. I had to honor the legend, Mwah, Messi, Maradona. We got the two stars from Maradona. We're gonna have that third star for Leo himself. And it's beautiful. It couldn't be more poetic, couldn't be more perfect. And this is why we love sports. That's all I got for you guys today. Tay out.